Hello, Marcus Wise. Uh, we are in front of 464 Gallery. Um, you are one of the founders of 464. Could you tell us more about the gallery? Yeah, I've been in the gallery in uh, February of 2009, and it's a space for emerging artists to come and uh, learn the trade, show their work, find out what it takes to become an established artist. Uh, so we work exclusively with local artists, uh, primarily with emerging artists, and uh, we really just try and help them find their voice and find their way and try and make a living doing what they love. What's an emerging artist? Can you define that for me? Uh, an emerging artist is someone who is just getting started. They're, they've got talent, but uh, they haven't necessarily shown many places, so they're trying to figure out how to break into the, into the art scene. Mm -hmm. And what's the art scene like here in Buffalo? Well, I think the art scene here is pretty incredible, actually. We have so many small galleries, some world-class galleries. Um, you know, there's, there's really nothing you can't do as an artist. I think a little people just need to learn how to do it. But there's a, there's a world of opportunities in Buffalo for artists. I find this location very interesting. Where, what location is this? What part of Buffalo is this considered? Uh, well, I guess it's technically Black Rock or Uptown Buffalo, if you would. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an undiscovered neighborhood. I think it's a little bit like what's going on with Grand Street right now. It's, it's undergoing a little bit of a revitalization. And we're working really hard on changing the uh, perception of the neighborhood. And I think it's working as we're getting a lot of new businesses, a lot of new tenants moving in on the street. We're really working on turning this into the next arts corridor. So, so that would be your, your goal, turning this into a... Yes, into an arts corridor, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I've been here for about a year and a half. I just live in Blink next door. Um, we've got photo studios, we've got uh, art spheres right across the street, stained glass maker, a recording studio. So it's kind of the natural thing to, to do. We just have to get the word out there a little bit more and let people know what's going on over here. I know you're a photographer yourself. Yes. So, do you also have your photography available here? I do. I have a lot of my prints. Um, it's, it's hard finding time to do my own photography when I'm working with everybody else's artwork. But uh, yeah, I do a lot of travel photography, some abstract and colorful stuff. What's the most challenging part of having this gallery here in Black Rock? Uh, I think the most challenging part is getting people to realize that this is a much nicer neighborhood than they probably ever thought. And uh, trying to just get people to come here during the day, I'm open six days a week. So um, I, I don't think a lot of people know that yet. But we're hosting all kinds of different events. We have op art openings probably two, three, four times a month sometimes. And uh, special events like this one today. You have some art classes going on this summer. Yep. Yeah, we have. Uh, uh, charcoal drawing classes, pen and ink, we have watercolors, oil, acrylic, and we have a really great teacher, Jim Wynn, who's teaching guitar, bass, and piano. Um, and if we don't offer it at the moment, we probably will be offering it. Uh, we do encaustic classes, which is teaching people to paint using beeswax. Uh, we've got a uh, girl, Stephanie Abelson, coming to teach batik, which is uh, dyeing silk scarves and making really cool creative designs. Uh, I personally do some photography tutoring, so there's all sorts of stuff going on now, and we're just getting started. Uh, registration is open, and uh, we'll be expanding it more and more every, every quarter. Thank you. Thank you.